All right. We're going to do a quick recap on the ECI and ECEF frame. The ECI frame is the old fictitious frame. I call it the ether-centered uh, inertial frame. Reason being is they use this frame as an absolute point of reference to make their measurements because as we went over earlier, GPS is a timing measurement system. So they're making one-way trilateration measurements off of the speed of light. And without raising any alarms, they need a way to drive the measurements and then add in a little earth rotation correction after the fact. So they have this fictitious frame that they invent here that stationary doesn't move. So in their model of moving through the cosmos, this frame would experience six months of day and night. You know, so it's literally just an ether frame. It's, it's the just frame of for, mathematicians pretending to be physicists? Essentially, yeah. It's just used for calculating the distances to make everything proportional. Where it starts off the coordinate system with. And then we have the ECEF frame, right? So that's where they say, this is the ball frame that they live on where they rotate. Now they, instead of taking the measurement with respect to an absolute frame here, put it on the ground receiver and act like it came from here to here. And it's and like, this is like the final product of it. <laughs> like they're like, this is where it works. Even though it was taken here the whole time, right? they introduced a different way to look at it real quick and then brought it back to, to where they were at. And then they're like good to go now alan aren't these coordinate systems globes well as my boy shane pointed out we live in coordinate system simultaneity nice <laughs> where all these core where all these coordinate systems are relative and valid at the same time so we have cartesian rectangular cylindrical spherical so if we lived on a plane you could project all of this above us as it was happening on a, on a ball and going around a ball or you could have ellipses going over rectangles. It doesn't matter, boys. It's all the same. It can act like you couldn't math this out on a plane is insane. And we're going to get into the equigravitational potential corrections here in a second, which I think are super significant in establishing the planar nature here. So here's some more examples of coordinate systems that are all equally valid and equal. All right. And then again, because GPS is a time interval system based in deriving distances as a ratio of the speed of light and that time difference of when signals it was sent and received, then it wouldn't matter what shape of anything we lived on. The distance it derived would be accurate either way. It doesn't matter what coordinate system. So we're going to get into scale and variance a little bit. That's something we talk about often because that's when you change a constant in a system, one of the variables, the rest of the system, if it scales proportional, that means that the system is scales invariantly right so what you would do here is like since the sun since the distances are all based off of angular sizes 0.53 degrees angular size you could say that the sun is was it 86 thousand miles wide 93 million miles away or was it 486 miles away and 33 miles wide it's all proportional to the distance if you can't verify it you would never know so any distance would be just as good as, as, as any, but the way that the solar system is scaled out, the way that they've built the model, they change that number, everything else would have to change. So they plan, so because it's all based on the periodicity. So all, that, all they would have to change distance wise is they would just have to say, oh, you know what? Instead of Saturn being 860 million miles away, it's only 400 million miles away. We just didn't know. Whatever distance they would change it to, everything would scale proportional in, wouldn't know because the reference is so large anyway you're, you're not gonna you wouldn't know the difference between 400 million miles and, and 800 million miles so that's how that works i think it's happening with gps is like they send out spoof signals for a coordinate system isn't you know where the craft is actually at it's, they send it from like where it would be if, if it was actually at an altitude of 20 thousand kilometers and all that stuff right and then everything is derived proportional off of that because it's just cooked into the way that it's that it's sent and we'll get into what that sagnic effect correction lends them the freedom to do